stuff here, another screen rotating bracket. This is the Gen 2. So they have two versions that you can select from, the version 1 or the version 2. The version 1 can swivel the right and left 30 degrees. This actually can tilt 15 degrees forward and backward. So that gives you more for the rec visualization of the display. Whether you're a tall person or a short person, you can adjust it accordingly. So in this video, we'll show you how to install this and, and really how it looks like afterwards. So this is the Gen 1 center console. So we'll be showing you the difference in terms of how to install it compared to the Gen 2 center console, which we did in previous video. So what comes with this kit? Essentially, everything you need for both the Gen 1 and Gen 2 center console. So there's slight differences underneath the display where your temperature sensor cover is different between the two versions. Within the kit itself, you have your your bracket for your mount itself and you can tighten this or loosen this according to how you feel that you want your screen to be uh, when you're swiveling between right and left or tilting up and down. It comes with two additional screw. This, this comes with the dash cover and the color is very similar to that of the Tesla dash. So they want it to make it feel like it came with the vehicle. You have the two cover for your temperature sensor, as I mentioned earlier. This is for the Gen 2 center console. This should be the Gen 1. Gen 1 is just the dot there, and that allows your temperature sensor to poke through. So we'll put that aside. And then behind this display itself, you also have a cover. And this cover has the two extra screw that comes with the kit that you insert on the bottom. And that will give you that seamless look in the back. So there's a lot of other mounts out there. One with Velcro and a cover in the back of the actual display. This gives you more of the OEM look. And it also comes with all the tools you need. So all the tools you need to install the display. So this pry tool is to pry open the actual temperature cover. And then here's your actual wrench to tighten your mount, whether you like it very stiff or loose. Then you have your wrench, 10 millimeter, eight millimeter. You have your torque wrench. and they also give you a screwdriver. So the kit should come with, with small screws, which is here. And this is for your temperature cover. So that's it within the kit. Uh, let's go ahead and use the pry tool to get the actual temperature cover off. So let me go ahead and show you. So there's the temperature cover placing the pry tool and use their plastic pry tool to get this open. So using the pry tool, you move it right to the left when you insert the actual pry tool itself. So just like that, and then twist it right and left and it should pop right open. And be very careful when you're pulling this down because you do have to take off this temperature sensor and then you can transfer this to the, the kit cap itself and that's this right here like so this goes so using on using the screwdriver they provided Okay, and then just save the cover 
of the original display, put it in your trunk or your glove box and just keep it there in case you want to switch out later. Now go ahead and turn off your display. I would um, go to safety, power off, power off display. It is seat sensitive. So if you move around, it will actually turn the display back on. So we'll try to do it without moving around too much. So we're gonna go ahead and unbolt the 10 millimeter. I did bring my own uh, screwdriver with the 10 millimeter. Now you can use their, their wrench that came with the kit, but it's a little bit difficult to use this. So if you have a 10 millimeter adapter, go ahead and use that instead. Just gonna go ahead and open this up so it's easier. So you wanna turn left to open. And you just wanna loosen it enough so you can just go ahead and unbolt it with your fingers. Let me just quickly show you what it looks like underneath. So there's the 10 millimeter bolt, one on each side. I just loosened that up and then I'm just gonna unscrew it with my fingers. So save these, you're gonna reuse them. I like to put them in the cup holder. And just gently pull out. Or using your torque, there's two bolts down here that hold this cover piece. You just want to loosen those up. All right. So the screw I was talking about goes in there and then there and it looks so just remove that put it in the cup holder and then now you're ready to remove the wire all you need to do is split it open be very careful not to move the plug or put stress on the actual display and move this protective cover to the top it can be white gray this is the first time I'm seeing a black. And then to pull this plug out, there's a, a latch right there. I would recommend using your fingernails if it's long enough. Um, try not to put any metal device. If you drop it down there, you potentially could damage some of the chip, okay? So be very careful with this process here. So put the camera up. I'm gonna use two hands one to press in where the latch is at and the other to wiggle slightly pulling upward with a little bit of light force and as you saw there it came right off and now take this back cover that came with the vehicle you want to save these as well and now you're ready to install your new mount. So this is the new bracket. It goes on like this, okay? And then using the screw that came with the vehicle, the 10 millimeter, you'd be placing one underneath each. If you're not able to swivel this around yet, use the use the red that they gave you and just loosen it so once you have the mount on loosen the screw a little bit be, be careful not to drop the mount onto the display okay so what i did was i installed the mount the swivel mount and then i re-bolted the 10 millimeter bolt that came with the vehicle and I used the wrench that came with the kit 
After hand tightening it, I use the wrench to tighten it very firmly just to make sure it doesn't wobble or rattle um, because it is holding the whole display up. So you want to tighten this up as much as you can and just hand tighten. You don't need no wrench um, that has a torque wrench indicator on it. Just hand tighten it till you feel that it's snug and you're good to go. So next step is to go ahead and install the actual dash mount that came with the kit itself. And again, leave the swivel mount loose so you can insert this and it goes on just like that. Just make sure you put the wires through the bottom and then install it. Once you have it in, go ahead and clip it onto the dash. And then once you have the wire through, you want to uh, install the back mount plate for the display itself. So again, make sure the wire goes through. And then the opening sits like this, okay? The T-shape, make sure that's facing up. And then you have the two opening for the new bolt that came with the actual kit itself, these bolts. Okay, so these are the torque screw. We'll install that in a brief second. So highly recommend getting a cloth underneath. I do have screen protector, so I'm not too concerned, but something to consider so I'm actually gonna put the screw on first and then hold the display up while I plug it in afterwards once you have it down uh, you can go ahead and use the the torque wrench that came with the kit itself Um, you feel a little resistant you can stop and then at this point you want to tighten up the mount bolt itself so this allows you to uh, give it more stiffness and you can adjust it uh, once you install it you won't be able to adjust it you have to take off the two bolts underneath the t25 so make it as stiff as you think it should be and again this once the screen is on it's going to be a lot less stiff so you want this as stiff as you can move it with your two hands and that should be that should be sufficient you don't want it too stiff where it's, it's going to put a lot of stress now you're ready to place the cup Then using the torque wrench that came with the actual kit, T25, go ahead and tighten the actual display up. And this is critical, so you want to make sure you support the display while you're tightening up the bolt underneath.
and that's it. So now the last thing is you just plug this temperature sensor underneath and then tuck it inside and tuck it away. Mm -hmm.